Yo, what's up guys? Sean here, aka I'm a flying midget, guys. Welcome back to some Lumber Tycoon 2, guys. I'm actually doing a different type of video today. I'm not doing like my normal Let's Play kind of video. I'm doing like a really cool, informative video for you guys to kind of learn something that I've actually had requested a ton from loads of you guys. So I appreciate the request. You know, I like when you guys are like midget. I really want to know how to do this. Um, you know, you're like a Lumber Tycoon god. So whatever. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not. But, um, you know, I, lo I love when you guys are like, yo, Midget, can you show us how to do these things? Because, um, you know, I, I have learned a thing or two from playing Lumber Tycoon for quite a while now. So, anyway, the base is an absolute mess. Just, just disregard that. But, anyway, um, a lot of people are like, Midget, how do you sell items? How do you buy items? How do you do all that stuff in Lumber Tycoon without getting scammed? You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people really, really, really want to know how to do that because scamming is, unfortunately, a really, really, really big issue in Lumber Tycoon. And I, I feel like there's some measures set out um, with some admins and, and with default, you know, and stuff like that about, you know, banning some people who, who, who have scammed some other people. Um... But, uh, but for the most part, there's, there's not much you can do when you put yourself in a situation where, you know, you're like, they're like, hey, I'll give you the money, can you give me an item, and then they just disconnect from the server, you know, that there's a lot of bad practices in terms of how to, um, in terms of how to trade on here and how to do it, and there's still not a 100% black and white, this is the best method for trading and all that good stuff, no, there's, ne there's never gonna be something like that, but I'm gonna show you today the best way on how to not get scammed, guys, um, and unfortunately, some scammers might use this method as a way to scam people, but for the most part, it's a pretty safe measure, um, and, uh, and, and there's ways around it and all this good stuff. So, um, before we get into it, I'm just going to kind of explain it, guys. So, say you've got, you know, I've got presents everywhere that I need to organize, I know, but say, you know, you've got a present or an axe or anything like that. So, for instance, a lot of these things you can't buy. You cannot buy the, 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 these presents, for one. You can't buy presents anymore, like that, that's a fact, but you can't buy the things that are in the presents either. So, that's like the fire axe, which is that one right there. You can't, you can't get this axe anymore. Like, there's just no way you can buy this axe unless you get it from players, um, and a lot of players do sell them. I've got I've got loads of axes. If I show you one of these shops, I get loads of axes. Another one is these end times axes, guys. These, um, for the most part, you can't get them anymore. You're only able to get them on one day. So it is, I still think, one of the rarest axes. Um, we've got even the candy cane axes in here. I forgot that's even a thing, even though those are completely useless right now. But um, you know, we got we got loads of these axes. I have so many. You know, right here. And and what am I gonna do? I don't I don't have you know a reason for all these axes. So a lot of people what they do is they sell them. So um, so yeah, so what we're gonna kind of do. So if you ever if you ever like you know I really want a fire axe. I really want an alpha axe, beta axe, um, you know, end times axe, candy cane axe, whatever, you know, whatever you guys want, um, you know, the only way to really get a lot of these things is through trading and stuff, so I figured this video was pretty important to kind of show you guys, um, how to do that and whatnot, so, um, before, but without further ado, even, even wood, honestly, even wood, I got loads of wood everywhere, but without further ado, um, here's kind of how you do it, so say someone else is on the server, I'm gonna kind of ask Glitch to, uh, um, gl Glitch, the homie, you guys already know Glitch, he's, he's a baller, um, Glitch is gonna help me out kind of demonstrate this, but for the most part, since he's already on my base, um, what you're gonna do is, you know, people will be, wow, his base is really getting going over there, I just didn't even notice that, um, but say, you know, someone's like, you know, over there on the map, and they're like, hey, you know, come over to me, you know, I wanna, I, I wanna sell you an axe, do not, 100%, guys, do not go over to someone. If they're like, hey, I want to sell you an axe, um, do not be like, okay, I'm going to send you the money and I'll be right over to pick it up. Do not do that. 100%, guys, that is the worst way to do it. Um, so so do not do that. Do not go over to someone's base and buy an axe from that. That's just not, it's not good. It's not going to work out. It's not going to work out anything like that. So the method that you're supposed to do, and um, and I would have I would have said this to Glitch if he wasn't already on my base, but what you say is like, you know, you work out like you're, hey, you know, I want to buy an axe, yada, yada, yada. Like if I go, if I go to Glitch, I'd be like, um, yo, Glitched. Uh, can I buy an axe? And and we'll see what Glitch says. But um, you know, you, you know, you ask someone like, yo, like you know, whatever their name is, can I buy an axe? And he's hopefully gonna be like, yes. What if he's like, no? <laughs> then we gotta restart the video. No. Um, he said, sure, dude, I'm selling n times axe for 10k. Oh, he's so great. Body actor is insane. So basically, what you would do is I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna see where he goes right now. But pretty much. Um, if they're off the base, you know, like when they're off the base, like he's off the base right now. So what I would do is I'd be like, see, he'd drop it right there, and I'd be like, no good, that's no good. So I'd come over to my base, and I'd be like, I'd be like, yo, dude, can well, first I'd be like, I'd be like, uh, okay, I guess said 10k. Yo, dude, can you drop the axe on my base? And um, and I need to unwhitelist him because I think he was whitelist earlier. Yeah, so I'm gonna unwhitelist him. Um, so I'm gonna be like, you know, can can you drop the axe on my base? So it's on my base, right? Now the axe is 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 on my base, um, and, and this is gonna be way so safer. So he goes, here you go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be like, uh, can you run away from my base, please? 
I'm going to say, can you run away from my base? He, he, you don't want him near the axe. So he's, so I still shouldn't be able to pick it up. I don't think he's whitelisting me yet. So it still glitched his axe, right? It's still his axe. He's away from my base, right? He's, he's, so like, basically when I pay him, he doesn't have the time to run up and grab the axe really quick, right? So I'd be like, okay, thank you. Sending money now, right? So you're like, okay, I'm going to send you your money. Let's see what he says. Let's see if he says anything first before we send him the money. Um, so let's see. Okay, he said, all right. So initially the trade kind of works out in terms of like, um, you know, they say, obviously, you know, I'm going to pay you. You're going to whitelist me, right? So that, that's kind of how that one works. So if I go menu and I go up here to, to pay the man, send money glitch, I'm going to send him $10,000. So I'm going to transfer it to him and I'm going to say, um, okay, first, before anything, right as you send the money, you're going to want to go up here. You're going to want to blacklist glitched. So now he's blacklisted. So he can't even come get the axe if he wanted to, right? So I'm going to be like, um, so now it's successfully sent to him. So I'm going to be like, uh, the money has been sent. Um, whitelist, please. Now, if he doesn't whitelist, so let's see, he, he whitelists me. So let's say he doesn't whitelist me. So let's say, um, let's say, uh, try to come pick up your axe. So let's say, you know, he, he didn't whitelist me. Let's say he's trying to scam me. And he's like, you know what? I'm not going to give him, I'm not going to give him an axe. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to scam him. He can't come and pick up his axe. So even if he even if he didn't whitelist me, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little put a little thing in chat. But even though he didn't whitelist me, so he, he did. Oh, he he unwhitelisted me. Okay. So even though he didn't whitelist me, what what do you say? Whoops. What do you say? He said, dang. So if he didn't whitelist me like, like it is right now, I, I, I can't pick up the axe. I can't do anything like that. But he can't get his axe, right? He can't get it. So he's going to eventually leave the server or whatever, and this axe is going to become mine, right? Now, I'm not entirely sure with the way the bases work, guys, in terms of loading and saving and all that stuff. You might want to wait for an autosave, which is usually every 10 minutes. Again, I'm not entirely sure with how, how it works, but your safest bet is just to wait for him to leave the server. If he leaves the server, the axe in it just instantly becomes yours, right? Because it's, it's on your base. That's why I have so many trucks on my base, because you guys come on to my my base and then you're like oh i'm gonna leave the server i gotta go whatever no big deal but you forget your trucks on your base so then it become you, you forget your trucks on my base so then it becomes kind of my truck and my property and stuff like that so um that's one thing you kind of have to like think about you might not want to leave the server like right away if he's standing there still and he's like he's like dude uh, like, you know, and you're like basically being like, haha, I told you to whitelist me, yada, 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 you're messing with them because you watch this OG trick and you're like, hashtag midget army, I know how to not get scammed, you know what I'm saying, just saying, <coughs> but anyway, um, let's say he's literally like, I'm not going to leave the server, I'm pretty sure after 10 minutes you'll be good to go and, and it should be yours because it will be an autosave, but, um, I'm not entirely sure how it works yet, so I think the safest way is just wait for them to leave the server, um, you know, in that way, in that way, you know, it's it's a lot safer and all that good stuff, guys. But um, regardless, most people are gonna be like, all right, I'll just whitelist you, you know, to kind of save them the whole scamming thing. They're not gonna be like, well, dang, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna scam you now. You know what I mean? But uh, but but the way the transaction works, guys. So for both parties to not get scammed, is you drop the axe on there. And then they pay you, right? So once I paid him, it was like I already paid for this axe. Even if you're not gonna, even if you're not gonna whitelist me, I'm still gonna get the axe eventually. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, but you know, there is a small chance for there to still be some scamming going on in terms of the buyer here. Um, but. Honestly, I feel like most people are getting scammed based off of dupers who people are duping axes, and you know they're kind of like, hey, you know. Um, buy this axe and then they don't actually sell the axe so majority of the scamming comes from this but also from people who are also buying axes so I could have scammed him and he could have dropped it there I could have blacklisted him and not paid him um, and, and you know I could have scammed him that way but it doesn't usually work out that way and I hope you guys don't do it that way um, you know there is you know still the kind of way for glitch to just kind of hang out on the server and hope that he eventually um, you know hope I leave the server and hope that the axe is still there you know there's other methods to that to that but primarily this is a way to not get scammed from a buying perspective which a lot of times is the case a lot of people get scammed from from buying things and not necessarily selling things um, but I just want to be black and white with you guys there's, this isn't like a 100% best method you know all that good stuff um, but yeah, but that, that's the way that, that it works, you know, and, and you just kind of send the money and do the blacklist thing. You can't forget to do the blacklist thing because that's what I almost forgot. Um, but, you know, you, you just got to remember right after you pay them, you blacklist them, you're good to go. And um, and that's kind of a, a safe bet to not get to not get scammed. So that's kind of the way to do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and, and, and unblacklist glitch so he's not like in the, in the dark zone over there. But, um, oh, oh gosh, no. The glitchy truck. Oh, hopefully that doesn't glitch out anymore. But um, that's pretty much the way to do it, guys. You can do this with any item. Like I said, any of these rare items I've got literally all over my base. You can do that any way you want it. Make sure you're using it on your base, not their base, because um, that way you can get scammed and everything like that. But um, for the most part, dudes, that, that, that's how you do it. That's how you not get scammed in Lumber Tycoon 2. I hope you guys learned something. Um, I thought this was definitely a cool video to do. I love the ideas. If you guys have any, have any other ideas, like, Midget, how do I build this? How do I do this? How do I get this? How do I, you know, just... 
give me give me some ideas down below, guys, and, I, and I'll definitely make some tutorial videos for you guys. Um, but this was kind of a very much needed video to get out in the community because I know a lot of you have been getting scammed and, and a lot of you guys tweet me and, and say, you know, I got scammed by this username, can you ban him? I don't have any power over that, so I thought this was the best way for me to, you know, to, to cut back on the scamming. I hope it helped you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, all that good stuff, guys. Uh, hashtag Midget Army to not get scammed, you know what I mean? But that is going to do a Glitch is just chilling in the window right there. Thanks again to Glitch for helping me make this video. He always helps me make all these videos, dudes, and, and I really appreciate Glitch and all that good stuff. But that is going to do it for today. Hope you guys learned something. If you did, make sure you like the video share this with your friends guys tell your friends about who play limit tycoon be like dude here's a way to not get scammed because it is a little bit hard to explain the way to do it um but share the video with them be like dudes this is how you not get scammed the limit tycoon okay i don't want a whole lot of people getting scammed anymore so um but yeah that is gonna do it guys again like the video share it with your friends but if you guys haven't already make sure you be fly and subscribe